Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I've been waiting so long to do because I keep telling myself that my office is not clean, but today I just said screw it. Today we're going to do my official um, new dream office tour and I literally can't wait. So before we dive in, if you're new here, hello, please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to become a Wickless Charm a VIP, the link to my Facebook group is down below, as well as my link to sign up for my next available $59 starter kit and the link to subscribe your email to my newsletter. Okay guys, that's it. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So first, I actually want to show you my door because I am obsessed. This was a dream item that I knew I wanted for the new house was a glass door because I want to put my um, logo on the glass so that it looks kind of like a boutique, like you're walking into a boutique. I need to fix my focus um, so I'm not so blurry, but, but here is my office. I just have waited so long to have this dream office it's okay with this lens that i have it's really hard to kind of get it like all <laughs> in the picture but my mint office i'm still not done i have so many ideas with like what i want to put up here but funny story i actually chose the wrong color mint for my office whenever we were building and then i had to pay somebody Brandon was so upset, but I had to pay somebody to come repaint it because it just wasn't the perfect color mint. So now this is officially the perfect color, but I guess we're just going to start right here. This has really nothing to do with my actual business, but these are my plants, my office plants. This one I actually just watered, so it's just drying off before I hang it back up. Um, but I have recently gotten into plants and well, not recently, I guess last February or March, I think I got my first plant. I'm not sure. It's been about a year. Um, but this is the strongest window in the house, so this is where some plants love to thrive. Um, here is a rundown of my corner. I guess we'll start with my desk. So I actually just got a new desk. This one is from Ikea. Um, I will link anything and everything in my office that I find down below in the description box. But I'm obsessed because it is big. It is wide. And it also is a sit to stand. So I find whenever I'm kind of like getting really like in a tired slump or if like my motivation for the day is just going down, I make myself stand up to work and that helps me keep going until Maddie gets home. Um, I love it. And it's also manual. I read a lot of reviews about like sit to stand desk and everybody said not to get one with a motor in it um, because the motor can go out. But this one is manual. So literally I just pull it down. And then I can turn it up and turn it down and then hide the little thing out of the way. But I love my open space. That is one tip I have for um, Cincy Consultants is to have open space. I have open space right here and I have it right here because this is like my workstation. This is where I make everything. Um, of course, I got my computer. I got this little riser stand from Ikea as well. Um, I love this. It has a drawer. It's also open underneath. And you can hide cords with it because it has that cut out in the back. Um, I added on this um, little thing that holds the cords that puts it into the wall. So, like, I don't have any cords on the floor. Um, also, I love these, like, cord hider boxes from Amazon. I will link below. Um, but this is my little workspace, man. I have my favorite Stargaze Warmer. Of course, Stargaze is my favorite because every Stargaze is different, just like everybody's business is different. Everybody's on their own path, and that's why I keep this warmer in here as a reminder. But this is another piece of furniture that I absolutely love. This is also from Ikea. It's in the Alex um, collection. I love the Alex drawers, but they just have really good, like, smooth gliding drawers. I actually don't even have all these full yet because I just... I like having room to grow, but the main reason why I wanted it was for the um, file cabinet. I just really love filing cabinets. I mean, I keep everything in here, like stickers and labels, um, scented stickers, you name it. A lot of personal stuff, you know, um, but I love having a file cabinet for my business, so that helps. And it also adds 
a little bit of extra space too. So um, right over here, I have my, some words of affirmation. I've actually had this sign since my first Cincy office. So in my diploma from my university, went to a four year school, I have some things on my memory board and lots of lanyards. I um, actually had this all full, but like recently whenever I moved into the new house, I just decided to kind of like refresh and give myself a new start because I've grown a lot since I first joined Cincy and it was just time for me to have a new fresh start. So some memories, like those mini mouse ears are from my first SFR that my star director gave me. Um, that is a dream catcher that I actually have tattooed on my ribs. There's school. Um, we bought this in Rome on our first incentive trip. Got my annual awards tracker, of course. I love having my lanyards. I love, like, just decorating with my lanyards. Like, this is just, this, having my lanyards next to me is just very motivating to me personally. Um, I have a mess up here <laughs> because Maddie always decides that she wants my buddies, which I have my special buddies like Stitch and Dumbo, and I have my Mickey Mouse usually up here, but Maddie wanted play with them and I mean they're just buddies so I let her play with them I'm trying to get better views um so I usually have them sitting up but you know it's a mess because I have to kind of like jump and grab stuff because I'm too short to actually reach the top but this was a very this bookshelf is also from Ikea and this was something I was really looking forward to for my new office I just wanted like a memorabilia like awards special things like bookshelf I have my back massager right here in this little corner and some Christmas wrapping paper that needs to go back up into the attic but um the rest is just trophies um SFR wax my sensational start warmer um the converse that I got from an incentive in summer the Disney World Castle, my favorite Disney Villains warmer, the sign from Boot Camp, um, just little things like my first warmer. That Daisy Lantern was one of the first ones that I purchased. Um, well, it was one of the first ones, and then my other first one was actually actually tucked away in my coffee bar somewhere. But um, Stitch, of course, and then that wax from our first incentive trip. I have the mini warmer right here that they gave us at our first world tour. So just special stuff. Um, I did want to show you this little hack, not really hack, but this little $1 thing that started. So um, if you get pins or the charms, you know they start to really, really add up after a while because you're a rock star. And I found this star glass, like vase top container bowl thing from the Dollar Tree, which I'm sure would be $1.25 now. Um, since Dollar Tree did go up, but I found this for a dollar and it was just a perfect way to display my pins, charms, um, bracelets. Like I've gotten special little, um, keychains and stuff made over the years. So I really love that, but let's, I'm um, keep pushing my chair out of the way. <laughs> so over here I have more words of affirmation. I love this quote and I have to say this to myself and remind myself pretty often whenever I'm having like a bad day or if I'm just in a slump um, and there's my beautiful friends, my bridesmaids, but definitely one of my favorite quotes ever. So this is actually my credenza, um, this piece of furniture right here. I, this, I have to do a disclaimer. This video has nothing to do with inventory, sales, nothing, try, and I'm not trying to get any kind of like personal sales. This is just a video of where I'm showing you how office looks how I stored things I found this credenza at Walmart forever ago and I still have it and I love it I am actually wanting to be I'm on the hunt for another piece of furniture to replace this because it is kind of old um but I just have not found it yet but one trick that I love that I have found is I, I ship a lot of stuff and I was finding it really hard to like store my little my weight my scale and so this video is all over the place but
but I um, tuck it underneath it and then I can turn it on, weigh the package that I got in mail, and then I can tuck it away out of sight and it's already plugged in. I don't have to worry about it. I don't know, like it was just one of those like small little, small world problems that I was having. I was just like, it was just, I don't know, like it was just getting in my way. So I um, found that little trick and I actually have a bigger scale too that's like a person, like a human scale. So that's good for whenever I have really big packages. Um, but I have more items, more of my favorite items. If you want to see a video about like my favorite Amazon um, business supplies, please let me know. This is definitely one of them. I actually use this today. It's the paper cutter. Um, got confetti whenever I'm making my happy mail and stuff. Um, but I love just having this here for whenever I need it. Um, just like I have stuff up here and like my crinkle cutters for samples and my tools and tape and stuff and it's out of the way so I don't have to worry about Maddie you know getting into this so that's why I have this here um, like I said it's my workstation so I've been working on mail gotta go get some samples but I keep forgetting um, I have this pegboard that I absolutely love Brandon built me this whenever I first um, made my own like Cincy office and I've had it ever since and he's told me like why don't get like a pretty white one like a fresh one you know but I love this one because he made it for me and like it has the character you can see where he kind of messed up with the nails and it's just my favorite thing so it was very easy for him to do too so found everything at Lowe's um more words of affirmation make things happen this is where um, this is a quote that my best friend bought me for our wedding gift actually, but it was like actually for my office. I have the idea of wanting to do a shelf right here and maybe even above for like trophies and stuff and more memor memorabilia because obviously I've already filled this up and I have so much more to do in Cincy. So, um, and like more places to go and more things to see. And so I told Brian like it'd be a good idea to like fill this with more memory stuff. Um... This little corner. Got me a new printer finally. I don't have a dinosaur printer anymore. Um, absolutely love it. Um, oils. These are all my personal oils that I have from the past. Camera lens just kind of sits there. Um, this mango margarita. I'm trying to get that to focus. This is the wax sample that was in the... Okay, it's not one to focus. That's the wax sample that was in the December Whiff Box. Um, my Harry Potter warmer, I had it out for the fall and winter season, um, but it's just too beautiful to put up in a box because I just don't have a spot for it right now because it's just not like a, I mean, I could put it out right now, but like right now I'm in like a spring and summer mode and like Valentine's Day mode. Um, so it just has a special spot on my printer just for display. Um, these are more Alex Shores. I got these for wax specifically. And let me tell you, I'm freaking obsessed. So again, this is not an inventory uh, video. Don't come at me. This is just showing how I store stuff. Um, but I actually, um, I love these, but I was finding that like my bars were just getting really unorganized. So I found these plastic dividers from Amazon and they work amazing. So they keep them in line. So the only way they skewed up is like up and down, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, but they have bigger drawers at the bottom so I can store all my secret bricks and stuff, things that don't exist. But I love having two because like this is a spring and summer one and this is a fall and winter one. And like my mind, that's how I kind of have it. So I kind of know um, where to find what. But that is that is that corner. So over here, we have more plants because these need a lot of light. And like I said, this is the strongest window. And especially with it being winter, they just need even more light. You need to be closer to windows. So right now, that's where they are. Um, this little guy is actually, it looks like an Ikea Alex drawer, but it was actually from Ashley. And I love it. Well, one, because Maddie added my little decoration <laughs> to the front, but I love it because it's actually on wheels which I have it locked right now, so it doesn't roll around, but you can obviously unlock it and it rolls. And I love this because I can literally just take it, if I'm working right here, I can pull it closer. If I'm working right here, I can pull it closer. If I'm working in the dining room or wherever I'm at, like I can pull it closer. 
So this is where I kind of keep my, like my order packaging, my mail out stuff, um, anything that I need on hand that like I, is seasonal and non-seasonal. This is just like my little go-to thing and I found it on Ashley again. So I always have samples of the current scent of the month. I have my little um, like referral cards, more snap and share cards, business cards. Um, I found these little plastic, not plastic, but like acrylic um, rack card holders on Amazon. And so I have, you know, special flyers, bring up my bar, obviously, a news thing, monthly specials. I have all of these product lists that I have a goal to get rid of before they retire at the end of February. Um, down here we have some drawers. Kind of like, kind of empty. It always just changes. Like I can't make this too organized because my stuff always changes. Like whether what month it is and um, ideas that I have and new stuff that I'm trying. I have some candy, got some ribbon that wouldn't fit on these little ribbon things. Um, post flyers, <laughs> more random stuff like I just, I don't, I'm trying to minimalize my business and like simplify my business. And I just don't need as much stuff as I thought I did. You know what I mean? Like in the beginning, but I got my catalogs. Um, I have this bin, which I need to do another ref like refill it. But I always have like the old retired testers. I make them and I use those instead of just letting them sit there and do nothing. So it's time for me to refill that basket and try to get as many testers out as possible. Um, on the side, it has two racks for ribbon and string and stickers, which is awesome. And then on the back, like in the picture, it was actually something made for like wrapping paper. So like you would put like rolls of wrapping paper in these little cubbies and then it would go down and like this little thing would, you know, hold it. Um, but I don't need it for wrapping paper. I wanted it for my business. So something I did, I needed like a good storage for my tissue paper. So that's what I use this for. So I actually have this like kind of like sticky glued to the back um, so that it can't move. Like this cannot move. But this became a little bag for all my tissue paper. <laughs> this random Disney princess gift bag. It was just so pretty and we got it at Maddie's last birthday party and I didn't want it just to sit in a closet until I had to reuse it. So I, I made use out of it. But super pretty and it's super functional because I can just throw all my tissue paper in here and know that that's where it is. Um, love it so very much. So over here, like I said, we have plants and we have my string of hearts. Definitely as close as it possibly can get to the window because it needs a lot of sun. But right here, I have two of my favorite business things, empty bins. And I say this because these are my to-do bins. So like I said, every month, every season, we're always doing something different in our business. So it's really hard for me to like, I don't, like I can't label things because once I label it and then I want to change it, it's going to drive me nuts. The fact that I already labeled it and maybe I can't take the sticker off or maybe I have to add a new sticker. Like I like being able to be flexible and change my business as I need to. So these are empty bins. So no matter if I'm working on bring up a bar samples or uh, monthly specials samples or mail outs or um, literally anything, whatever I'm working on at the time, I have these two bins. So I know whenever these bins are full, that is something that's on my priority list for that work day that I need to get this done. So found these at Ikea. They were super cheap there. Get you some empty bins, I promise. It helps and like I always feel so much more accomplished when these are empty so um but like I actually just did my mail outs last week and so I had all my mail out stuff on my envelopes and everything that needed to go in them in one of the baskets but right now they're ready I just have to go get some stamps but um down here I keep a little bin of seasonal like the cute extra fluff stuff so like right now you know it's January so working on like Cute Valentine's Day things, probably. But these are things that I found from like last year that I just want to get used. Um, so, for example, I just previously had like Christmas stuff in here. Um, I have found that I am more likely to use the items and not forget about them if I have them out where I can see them. So I put my Christmas stuff up, put some Valentine's Day stuff out. This is all from last year. 
And if I get any new Valentine's Day stuff for special little things, whatever it is, I will add it to this little bin. Um, this is my empties bin. So, my what I have been warming videos. Whenever the, this bin is full, that's whenever I do those videos. Um, I actually have not cut those down to make my little playing cards yet because I have a cube, two cubes left of Angel. And I just want to make sure to use this, obviously. But I have these together so that I don't forget. Like, that's what I warmed together. Um, but this is where I put all of my little empties. I make my little... I call them my playing cards <laughs> and I cut the bottoms off and then I um, tie them together so that I don't forget what I warmed them with and since I'm cutting off um, the bottom half I save a lot of space and can fit a lot more in here so also this is where I can see it so if I see it and if it's really really crazy full it's gonna get on my nerves and that will motivate me to get my what we have been warming video done so yeah, I forgot to tell you about this little guy. So, I had this perfect little space and I needed good storage for like my paper, my shipping labels, my product labels, my mail out, my mail out stuff or whatever. I found this perfect little thing from Target, I think. It was either Target or Amazon. I can't squeeze in here. I'm mean, I'm trying. So, this is all one piece. You didn't even have to put it together. It has like these little, you know... I mean, I don't actually use these, but you can organize the top of it. This is just empty or blank labels for like my personal, like local orders for, that need to be picked up so that I can easily write their name on the bag. Um, so that's just what I keep there. But this is one piece. It was very affordable. This thing has nine drawers and I absolutely love it. It is plastic. It is a little wobbly. So I would love to find like a more sturdy version of this in the future but until then this is fine because I can keep all my printer paper got my card stock I got my shipping labels I got my like round uh, product labels and order labels I got my these are rectangle labels <laughs> I got small um, poly mailer bags I got my large bags I got well these are empty because I usually keep these like these Cincy bubble mailer ones so I just need to refill this one, but um, literally have everything I need and it's organized and I know exactly where it is. So I love that, love that so much. But last but not least, we have this corner. So that is my video light. Um, I asked Brandon to put a hook on the wall so I could keep it up and out of the way. And trust me, this is a lifesaver because these things are big, but it helps so much having it like off the ground. Um, that is Nakota and River's blankie for, for whenever they're hanging out with me. I got a TV of course because I can't work in silence and I've been obsessed with watching people play like the old like PC games of Nancy Drew. I used to love those and so she is just like streaming watching or like playing the game and I'm obsessed. My nerd has truly come out but you know what I'm a nerd so that's fine. Um, I have the map of the Mediterranean area <laughs> that they gave us on our first Cincy Incentive cruise. And then I have my goal right there so I can never forget. That is my next personal check, like commission check, pay goal. And then here, you might have thought we were about done, but we're not because this is my closet. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Uh, breath. Wow. I'm out of breath. So... This is my storage closet. I had big dreams for this thing because I needed something good for storage. So um, it's just like a regular size room closet, but I asked him to, like our builder, put three extra shelves. And let's just let's just start right here. Let's start at the door. So uh, for the longest, I needed good postcard storage. And I found this on Amazon. It's, it goes over the door, so you don't have to nail it in or anything. Um, very safe for being on the door. I built it myself. I'm so proud of myself. Um, but it fits my postcards perfectly. I have them organized. Sorry, I forget how zoomed in this lens is, and I can't change it. Um, but literally, um, like, certified, elite, star, superstar. I have all, like, these vertical ones, or my, my little... 
you know, like little dividers, um, all my team postcards, all my customer postcards and letters and stuff. Um, up here, I keep my microphones for videos. And then they actually have, this thing has hooks. And so I needed something to get my bags off the ground because I use these bags like crazy in my business, whether I'm doing events or whether I'm doing like a big round of deliveries, whatever it is. They're off the ground and it's amazing. So, um, I guess we're going to start from the bottom up, but here's my post office. This side is not flat rate. This side is flat rate. Um, and this is just some small boxes that could probably go over here now, but I just need to kind of organize, um, have a tripod hidden back there. Um, but yeah, love my post office and I love how organized it is. <laughs> um, over here. We have some drawers so these are my extra testers that I need to make those samples out of I'm gonna turn up my light there you go oh I have a light in my closet man hang on I forgot that I had a light up there so this will help <laughs> um, but here are some drawers I just love these little um, acrylic drawers there we go there's focus so um, order forms and this is for my VIP events and my Facebook parties I just got stuff ready to go, stuff for events, like my extension cord, um, belt samples. This is my little camera supplies bin. Um, this is my bin for, I keep a bin for seasonal things. So, um, this is obviously, I just do this in here, but so like this has all of my fall, winter, like Halloween mailers. So this is for like Easter, so closer to then, I will take that stuff out. Um, this is for summer. Um, I have some like seasonal molds, Christmassy colored bags, um, Halloween stuff. So I keep all of my seasonal stuff that's not in season in here. And then I rotate it out and put it where I can see it so that I don't forget to use it. Um, right here I have um, special mailing things. I have like my um, thermal bags for mail and my paper. So that's where, that's just for packaging. Um, envelopes, <laughs> that's where they fit. Um, I have this super cool uh, ring light that I earned with the Sensi Incentive. Keep that up there so it is nice and protected. Um, I also love these little ones. These are newer for me and then these bigger ones over here. So um, this drawer I have for um, samples, like little baggies and stuff. Um, right here I have more baggies and stuff <laughs> right here. I have more sampling stuff more sampling stuff um, Over here. I have more like this is like little teeny things like for um, You know happy mail awards and stuff um, And supplies just like extra supplies tape hot glue um, Staples, you know it um, small bags for like bring my bar or any like little cute thingies that I make or something um, these two are empty because these are where I keep stuff for my charm crates and like I said that always changes so they're empty um, Because I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. Um, I have all my surplus supplies up here Not really exciting, but extra bags extra little um, You know dividers and yada yada so and then the rest is just storage I have an extra whiff box with crinkle paper in case I ever need it um, my tote party bag, I got this warmer that I've been meaning to give away, I just haven't seen my friend yet to give it to her. I got Sable, my dinosaur costume, in this Cincy bag, and then this box is all like, memories, like pictures and happy mail that I've been, like I've received from like upline and stuff. Um, all the awards that like Cincy sends out, like the, you know, like the little pieces of paper. Um, more excess, a duster to clean out wall fans. Um, things that need to be picked up, things that need to be picked up, but guys, that's it. But yeah, guys, that is my office tour. I don't know why I waited so long. Honestly, I just kept telling myself that it wasn't finished, and so I didn't want to do a video until it was finished, and then I just would tell myself, like, it's too messy. Um, but you know what? Life is messy, and part of my, like, personal growth for 2023 is to... Be more confident to start messy and do messy because life is messy and we're all messy and nobody has their shit together. 
Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched through the end, I will have everything that I can find that I talked about linked down below. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't watch me join me and have a great day.